So I know we just met, but I have a favor to ask you. I'm going to ask that you slow down from clicking to every place on YouTube and just slowly give me your attention for the rest of this video here because there are people making millions of dollars off of your back, including myself. My coaching business makes over 150K every single month. And I want to sit down with you like we're having a little coffee date here and just explain how it's happening. So you can go from someone who's having their attention vaporizing liquid money to actually being the person who's making a bunch of money and creating the life of their dreams, teaching people their passion. And I'm going to show you this. I'm going to try and get it through your head in the best way that I can in the most raw format with no editing possible because I'm a 17 year old and I was able to do this. I was a dishwasher. I played video games all the way through the pain. And transparently, I've never even stepped in a high school because of the pain thing that happened in my life. So I want to show you how me, who is highly less qualified than whoever you are or wherever you are in the world watching this video, how I did it. And I guarantee that if I was able to, you're going to be able to too. So I just want to walk you through the steps of how it all happened. So the way this all got started was when I first decided to get into the online business space. I saved up all the money that I had spent for two years washing dishes. I was a bus boy and I worked in an Italian restaurant and I spent all that money onto a course. And soon this course was turned into an OnlyFans marketing course and I wasn't able to actually make any money off of it. So I pretty much had saved up all this money that I told my friends and I told my parents, I'm going to change my life with this course. I'm going to start an online business. I'm going to make all this money. And I didn't get anything after about a week. And pretty much I was completely embarrassed. I even lied to my parents about the price because I didn't want to tell them that I had spent all of my savings. So from that point on, I had my back against the wall. I worked up and I built my own marketing agency to $25,000 a month. From that point on, I had created a pretty much hell in paradise for myself. I was making really good money for a kid my age, but I didn't have anything to spend it on other than door dashing myself burritos, which I kid you not, I spent over two, three thousand $3,000 a month on. And I pretty much just had a whole bunch of clients and a whole bunch of team members who were trying to run up contacts to me, run up problems to me, and I was just a kid and I had no clue what was going on and it just stressed me out to no end and I just hated my life. I'd spend days where I literally cried every single day because of how much my life sucked. And it took me to a point where I was making money, but I didn't like it at all. And I realized that honestly, is business even worth it? It's a big question that I had. I even considered going back to college, enlisting in the military, a whole bunch of things I considered. But around that time, I stumbled upon my now business partner, Dylan Wilson, and I met him, I spoke with him, and together we came up with the idea of starting a marketing agency program. We had both scaled our marketing agencies to $20,000 a month, and as much as we weren't the biggest players in our space, there were guys who did $100,000, $300,000 a month their marketing agencies, there were still a whole lot of people, in fact, majority of the people that watched SMA content online were below $20,000 a month. So what we realized is, okay, well, we have this skill here and there's all these people at zero that want to learn how to get to where we are. So why are we going to go all the way up the rung to just infinite skies beyond in order to just go back and teach people how to be beginners? So we took this idea and we we're like, okay, well, because we were actually so close to being beginners ourselves and are maybe one, two, three, four steps ahead of people, we were just going to take that and we're going to show people how to do it. And that spawned our first ever coaching program and our business online which was called the first client challenge. And we pretty much work with people for a hundred dollars, which was completely refundable to get them their first marketing agency client. And as much as we weren't the biggest expert in the space, just by being honest about who we were telling our story and producing YouTube videos, just like this, which you can see on my channel, you can also go to his channel and see, we were able to make our first $10,000 a month recurring, but we had already done that before. We'd already made money online. So it wasn't like this crazy, oh my gosh, this can work experience. It was more so an experience where we were like, all right, well, how did it work? And we didn't go through any arduous pain. We weren't like sitting there trying to figure out what our next steps were. We weren't always mad and upset. We were having fun while all this was happening. We we're making jokes every day. And it was like for the first time, business felt fun. And it was because we took something that we had experienced ourselves and we went to help our younger versions of ourselves, which were us when we were at zero trying to start our marketing agency for him was when he dropped out of college. And for me, it was, well, when I spent all my money on a course and we were helping those people get to a state that's similar or closer to where we were now ourselves. And it was just fun. That's the only way I can word it. So we had realized that this business was a little bit different. We didn't have any crazy team members. The clients that we worked with enjoyed working with us. We enjoyed working with them, even though, you know, that could be a pain sometimes, but it was in a funny way. And we decided that 
oh my, like, oh my word, this is what we're going to do. This is going to be the future of what we do. We don't need to run our marketing agencies anymore because as soon as we can make this a big enough business, it's going to be able to help people so much more. And we're just going to remain completely transparent. We've never scaled our marketing agencies past $20,000 up until that point. We eventually did it later, but we were just honest and help people as maybe one, two, three, four steps ahead of them once again. So that is how we started our own first one person business. And we were able to take that business up until about $50,000 a month before we had to make our next major play. So I know that is a very big jump. Even the zero to 10 is a very big jump. So I want to zoom back in to kind of show you the chances are you watching this video, maybe you're still trying to get things off the ground, whether you have experience or not. So we had picked a skill, something that we had done in our lives that other people desired. And we pretty much just sat down and thought to ourselves, well, how are we going to convince people that we're the best at what we do? Well, the first thing is that we just showed completely candid evidence. Like there's videos of us going ahead and literally just screen sharing our client accounts and maybe even like leaking some of their, I hope nothing happened, like no information got leaked, but I, I imagine there's probably some client information and that those videos that are hidden back there. And we just showed everything and we're completely honest the entire way about it. But what we also did, which was the way more important part is we just dedicated ourselves to giving away the most things for free. And it taught me one of the lessons in business that I have to remind myself every single day today. And I know you've seen some guys always show you these pamphlets, they're the self alchemies and, and whatnot. And I'm one of the people who has those two, which I'll probably show you later on in this video. But the person who gives the most away for free in business and in any given market is the person who is the ultimate authority. If you think about anyone at the top of their industry, even in the SMA industry, that guy is Iman Godzi, that guy is Charlie Morgan, that guy is Joel Kaplan. The reason why they're so good at what they do and the reason why people associate them and they make so much money is because there's just plethora of content from them for free where they sit down and they unselfishly provide other people value. And because of that, well, the brain makes the assumption that, okay, well, if what these people are giving away for free is good, well, then what they give away for money or what they charge money for is going to be absolutely amazing. And because of that, if you just create and grow this community and what I like to call a farm around the free content you're making, just always going to transfer into people wanting to just pay you money to learn more. And all you have to do is make the offer. You don't have to sell it or anything. We didn't really sell it or anything. We didn't have any crazy call to action. You go back and watch the videos. We just had a link in our description and people clicked it because they had associated so much free value with what we did. And honestly, that is the way of doing it. So the first step, if you were trying to replicate this, would be to find the skill that you have, et cetera, et cetera, and just sit down and try and provide the most value in the best format possible. And I assure you, as time goes on, even I'll get better at YouTube. I'm sure there'll be fancy edits. Maybe there'll be a second camera like I'm a, in a Mon video or whatever. But really, it doesn't matter the format they're in. You could be a handheld video climbing a mountain. There's people who literally do that and make millions of dollars. And you just need to sit down and try and help to solve people's problems. That is the best way to do it. And from that point on, that's what got us from zero to $10,000 a month. It's just a phase of reps. It's like sitting there and going through every single day and just repeating the free value and giving away as much as you can. And eventually once you built up a catalog of about 20, 30, 40, 50, even a hundred videos, if it takes that, there's going to be such a big catalog that when someone watches you and they like you, they're just going to go through all the videos. They're just going to go through all, maybe you're doing that right now for me, maybe just going through all the videos that this person has. And because you keep receiving value from them, you start to associate them as someone that you'd want to be around. And when they make an offer for you to be around them, they're going to pay you. So that is how to get $10,000 a month. And I kid you not, it's that simple. But once you get there, chances are, if you're anything like me, a very competitive driven person, you want to kind of achieve more in life, right? You have built up this audience and you see you're on this run. So your first impression is, okay, well, let's see how far we can take it. And before I do that, let me take a sip. In order to take it further, in order to take your company further, is where the next phase of business comes in, where it's really important to keep your team at zero members. Because from going to ten to fifty thousand dollars a month, we made the mistake of overcomplexifying our business way too much. We started setting up crazy go high level sequences. We started setting up crazy Zapier sequences. We even tried to hire like a client manager. And then also a VA at the same time, the VA would have to work with the client manager and all this stuff. And it just stagnated our business because what we didn't realize is that everything in the world almost is shifting to kind of this counterintuitive reverse psychology approach. The best marketing and the best ads that you see now never look like ads. They just look like organic 
simple clips, contexts of real lives. The best businesses right now in the world are things that you would never even assume are businesses. You would not go ahead and assume that Kylie Jenner is a business, but everything she does, she's wearing a product of herself. She's marketing everything she does marketing, and it creates a billion dollar industry around her. She's a self-made billionaire. And that is what the future is going to look like. Everything is going to be normalcy, like what we see in regular life as a business. And it's going to be kind of a business in the background that continues to convert people as they grow attention towards people. The biggest icons in the world are all walking businesses. You see they have ads all over them and now they're getting smarter and starting their own companies. And it's what everyone you see online is doing. So the reason I say that is because as you build up this company, the last thing you want to do is take conventional business advice. You don't want to learn how to set up crazy softwares or crazy sequences like this. You just need to learn how to actually focus on talking to someone like this one to one and learn to provide them value. Because if they like you and you're able to help them solve a problem, and if you work in the business space or you work in the fitness space, that problem has an associated value to it as a money, a cost to it. And when you solve that problem for them, they're going to want to pay you money. And by getting that money paid, you're going to create an income and that income is going to sustain you and you're not going to have to work a job or do anything for the rest of your life if you do a really good job at it. And that is what the future is actually going to look like. So it bothers me when I see all this crazy funnel stuff. And I know I'm kind of victim and kind of a perpetrator of some of these problems sometimes. But I don't get the point across properly. All this funnel stuff, all of this editing stuff, all of the, I guess, famousery that goes on around what business in the online social media space actually is that people don't understand that you just need to sit down in front of a camera and talk to someone. So to get back to the story, going from 10 to 50K a month, we made all the mistakes, overcomplicated it way, way too much. And we had a group coaching program where we would actually just sit down on a mastermind. We did it twice per day at first, which is just way too much, but we reduced it down to once per day. And there's these group of guys and they're called the inner circle. And I still chat with them. If you're watching this, you're my boys. And this group of guys, they all started, they were beginner marketing agency owners. They all made like zero dollars. And for some of them, we literally had to say like, hey, I'm going to let you in for 300 bucks here, but we probably need another like 200 just because other people are paying 200. And we pretty much took a bunch of guys who were broke and we put them all in close proximity with us. And over the course of 12 months, they're building relationships with us and working with us every single day, helping on and having problems solved, but then also creating a community around themselves and becoming friends with each other. It created a world where each of these guys now, I kid you not, make over six figures. And a lot of them are in the phase of $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, even some of them $40,000, $50,000 a month. And it all came from this tight knit community of people who we just sat there and provided value to. And these guys are still friends today, regardless of whatever we do. Like we could remove ourselves completely and these guys are friends for life. They move in together, they have homes together. We created a community that fundamentally changed 12 guys, 15 guys lives forever. And I was at this point where we realized that we don't need to keep doing this crazy low ticket info product ads, worry about this conversion rate stuff. We just need to get more people in this close proximity with us and find a way to do it at a larger scale. And we did this by just increasing our prices. When we increase our prices, we're able to actually spend more time with people and still profit in our business and grow our operations. So that's what we did. We went from a $100 product to a $1,000 product to a $1,500 product to a $2,500 product. And that fundamentally, with literally just group coaching and hopping on every day to help these guys provide value, we got to a run rate of $50,000 a month. And it was that simple. And then from that point, we had to take a break. And the reason we had to take a break is because in order to get to this next level, we couldn't keep teaching people how to get to $20,000 a month. And we couldn't teach people how to go any further than that because we'd never been there ourselves. So we had to sit back and realize, okay, well, in order to keep working up the marketing, keep helping higher level people achieve their dreams, what do we need to do? And the answer was we need to go ahead and we need to get higher qualifications ourselves. So we paused our business, completely dead stop, zero revenue in the month of October, 2023, or sorry, I apologize, it was closer to September or August. And we spent one, two, three months working deeply intertwined in the trenches of restarting an agency in the mortgage space. And we scaled that company to $42,000 a month, yada, yada, this is marketing and stuff, it's all boring. But 
we came back with only ever having hit $20,000 a month to now having hit $42,000 a month. And we had these crazy qualifications and we've been documenting the entire journey this whole way. And all we did at the end of this whole process, after documenting the whole thing, which you can see on my partner's channel, Dylan Wilson, his channel on YouTube, we just put a link in the description. It was like, hey, do you want us to partner with you and work with you to do the same thing one-on-one? -on -one? And I kid you not, we went from zero dollars in revenue, which was in the month before we decided to start this. And we had paused it, went to zero revenue for months. And then we restarted it in December and we did $100,000 in a month in December. And it was the best way to start 2024. And it just happened. Like it, it just happened like that. And the reason why I think it's so important to understand that is because every time that our business grew at a massive scale, we had just done something completely counterintuitive. We literally stopped our company. We stopped growing it. We stopped taking content as seriously. And we just did something else that solves people's problems by showing them what it actually looks like inside a marketing agency that's growing and how to actually operate it, run it, do outreach, do sales, etc. And we stopped our entire operation to do that. We documented this, just solved a bunch of people's problems online, YouTube, not asking them for a dime. And then we just said, hey, here's a link in the description and never even announced it. We just put the link in the description and our company just blew up. It just shot up to an extent that we've never seen before. We we're now seven figure entrepreneurs. We had all this crazy stuff flying us. We had people trying to partner with us and all this stuff and continue on the story and just kind of extend out to where we are now before I kind of go back into history and explain how it works. From that point on, we made another mistake. When we got seven figures, we had to do the same thing again. We had to over complexify our business. We had to get a team member. We even scaled up to the point where we had 20 team members after hitting 100K a month. And our business just turned into this crazy operation. I don't know if you can actually see behind me, but I have management books to forever. I've got effective CEO, I've got SOPs, I've got so many biographies on business leaders. And I just had to cram my brain with all this MBA stuff of just like how to run a business. And it completely destroyed the essence of what made us successful in the first place. So we did this, we made this mistake for two, three, four months. And then we realized again, just, hey, we need to go back to what always works, which is we need to sit down in front of a camera in the most raw format possible, solve people's problems, and then make an offer to sit down and do it with them, again, in a one-on-one -on -one format in the most close way possible. Because when you do this, and maybe if you're watching right now, I'm helping you. When you do this, you create an association with people where you can go ahead and just spend time with them and it will create value and they'll want to buy from you. And that is the secret of what needs to be done. So to kind of recap, we scaled from zero all the way to $100,000 a month in the span of about a year and three quarters to two years is the, is the total length of everything. It's all documented so you can take a look at it. And the biggest thing that we learned was just business is about solving people's problems in the most direct fashion possible with the least friction possible, which just happens to be in a direct shot video with no cuts or any glamorous stuff. And the best way to deliver is the exact same way. It's just, what is the fastest way to solve someone's problem? What is the most direct way? And a Zapier automation is out of the way. A Goa level automation is out of the way. Everything else is out of the way. You just need to go from the fastest point A to solve the problem to the quickest point B, which is the result that they want to achieve. So how do you actually turn into the person who can do this? Is what you might be thinking right now. And this is where this bad boy comes in handy. So now before I open this up, I'm not gonna tell you to do affirmations or to meditate or to build your habits up or anything like that. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna explain what this actually does for somebody so you don't even need to create one if it's not your style of doing things. And pretty much foundationally, if I read the, the first or second, third page after I get through all the pictures of Einstein and all these people, um, I pretty much sit down and explain that your beliefs create, and I don't know if you're going to need to see this, I'll treat it. Your beliefs create your actions and your actions create results and results create your feedback. And if you can learn from your feedback, you can change your beliefs, which then continue the loop and you'll make progress and change. And that fundamentally is what needs to happen. No matter where you are now, no matter if you have absolutely like zero knowledge of what needs to be done in the first place, all you need to do is shift the beliefs of who you are and what you're able to do. And it's going to allow you to morph into anything that you need. It can morph you into the worst human being, a villain of just complete destruction, but it can also morph you into exactly who you want to be. And the key thing is just to be intentional about what you do. 
I actually have a, a book on my shelf here. I need to try and quickly find it for you. It's titled uh, As a Man Think It. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it in this short period of time here. But actually, you know what? I apologize. I'm going to dedicate to find it for you. Okay, this book right here is one that changed my life. And it pretty much says, what you think is what you turn into. And what I want someone to watch this video to really take away is that the only way to sit down and run this business where you sit down, you provide value to people and you grow this big brand and people wanna pay you and whatnot, is by just shifting who you are and what you think about into a desired state, right? Into a place where other people wanna be and then simply being very transparent about your journey along that way. When I started and when we started our marketing agency business, we were very transparent that we had never scaled past $20,000 a month ourselves. I was a 16 year old or actually I think it was even, no, I was 16, I was 16, I was 15. I just turned 16 around that time. And we were just completely honest about everything that we did. And what that created was this vortex of as we documented this journey, people related to us. They were like, oh, well, I'm a teen or I haven't got this or I used to have this problem or whatever it is, whatever they relate to, it does happen. And once we are able to just align ourselves with achieving a goal, inevitably as we progress and if we document it, there's going to be this trail behind us here, which is where people begin to follow and the people that begin to follow are the people that end up paying you. So to wrap this all up and to kind of stop this very long talk and give you some actionable takeaways and lessons that what you need to do. If you want to begin to become someone who is capitalizing on this crazy market that you're going to see all around, you're going to click off this video. Maybe you already clicked off and you had to come back or whatever's happening. You see a whole bunch of videos on whatever side of your screen it's going to be on. And all these people are just trying to provide you value, They're trying to solve your problems, They're trying to go from point A to point B in a quick way possible to solve your problems, to create value for you so that you eventually pay the money based on how much you like them. That's what they're all trying to do. And really, at a fundamental level, you can become that exact same person. All you need to do is pick something that you have as a desired state. Once you have that desired state, let's say you want to be a climber, for example. All you need to do is you need to begin to alter your thoughts to think like someone who is a climber that is in a desired state. Maybe you're good at climbing. I don't know how the numbers work, but it's like a, a V10 or one of the high rank ones. Maybe you want to learn how to climb that very high rank one. And you just need to shift your beliefs to someone who's able to climb that one. So how do they see themselves? Are they a climber in their mind? Or are they someone who climbs? How often do they train? Okay, how do they think about their training? When they fall, what do they think about? Do they think about how to change it? And from that point on, once you've thought about what your thoughts and beliefs need to be, you're going to write them all down. And then you're going to read them to yourself every single day so that you can reinforce it in your mind. And then simply take slow action to iterate and get closer and closer every single day. And if you were able to do that, then as you begin to whip out your camera and just document it, document the process of you going through this journey, people are going to go, oh my gosh, this guy went from not even being able to do a pull up to now being able to climb this thing. Or if you're already there, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this guy can already climb this thing. And you just have to continue from the journey on from there and sharing lessons from your younger self. He is so good at this. I want to learn how to do this too. And that is where the value is created. And from that point on, all you have to do is make simple offerings. And if people are getting stuff for free from you, they're going to also want to pay you if they really, really like you because the brain makes the assumption, well, once again, if the free is good, then the paid has to be even better and they want more of what they're experiencing for free. And if you can do that, if you can just capitalize on it, just slow down in this very quick world and go from the consumer of this information to the creator of this content, you're going to change your life. You're going to change your life. And that's all I really got to say. So I appreciate it and you have a good one.